we must no longer defer, but must accelerate the needed change and tough choices we've often discussed. We must develop and empower leaders and provide quality of service and quality of life where our airmen and families can reach their full potential. No doubt, there are challenges ahead that will be difficult, but not impossible. We probably need to blow up the way that we think about education, especially when it comes to educating the force of the future. You go back even the start of my career in 1989, the officer enlisted corps was still quite separate in a lot of respects. Um, and now you see, especially when you get to the senior NCO level, it's become blended. The interaction, the jobs they do have become so much closer. We need to look holistically at how do we develop effective, meaningful teams, whether enlisted or officer, so that they can be on the same playing field when it comes to certain things, and leadership is one of them. We're continually teaching these things across the course. Why can't we just put everyone together? One of the things that the leadership development course is doing right now is they're taking the, the chief and the commander and the first sergeant, we're going through these scenarios. And we're working on those and we're retooling those, but what I love is at the end, we have a status of discipline meeting where everyone comes in and they brief their position. You've got to have as many touch points as necessary to be able to learn each other. And I think that genuine connection that you will have as a command team will resonate with the airmen that you're in charge of. And you have to have enough connection points, again, to understand each other's intent. I mean, the idea is within the academic circle that it looks like a university campus, functions that way. And it's a learning environment, you're here to learn and interact with others and take back those experiences to your parent organization. From the start, ALS to the Senior NSO Academy, company grade officers through your flag. Day. My road has been very different from General Brown from a Air Force experience standpoint. As an Air Force officer, he's, he's went down a certain path. And then in 2030, I don't think we're gonna have the luxury of always being able to go back and ask my boss, is this where I need to move out in? We've got to get their intent and move out at the speed of relevancy. It's a whole different Air Force. This isn't the Air Force of the 90s when I came in and we could just have people who are just serving and they don't understand the broader and bigger picture. We have to have airmen who truly understand the, the times that we're living in and all of that in an effort to close the gap that, that has happened because of our near-peer adversaries.